Members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in Kwara State, and other loyalists of former Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed this Wednesday stomped the Lorin Zonal Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to protest the refusal of the anti graft agency to release the former governor of the state after three days in detention. State published the secretary of PDP, Olush Olushegu Adewara, who led other protesters, described the development as gross abuse of power by the anti graft agency alleging that the former governor is only being persecuted as a strategy to get him to defect to the ruling All Progressives Congress in the state. According to the Kwara State Publicist, the Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Olusha Gumadewara, former governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed had been denied access to his personal physician and lawyer in the last three days by the anti-graft agency in an attempt to compel him to defect to the ruling party in the state alleging that the EFCC is being used as a tool by Abdul Razak-led APC in Kwara State. We cannot use corruption, corrupt agency like EFCC, especially at the North Central Zone. But when you want to fight corruption, you must follow due process. You cannot keep a former governor, not, if, a, not every a citizen of Nigeria, you cannot keep them in detention for more than 24 or 48 hours. Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed has, uh, he has history of always honoring EFCC. This is not the first time. It is surprising that since Monday, governor has been kept in this custody with a bill, and they are telling him, please, they are telling him to come to APC so that this prosecution will be discontinued. We are sending it to them that if, if EFCC is not, is not putting themselves as a department in APC, quarrels will stand against it. Reacting to the allegation against the EFCC, the zonal commander of the agency, Michael Nzekwe, said the anti-graft agency is exhausting all windows of due process in its investigations against the former governor. As I speak to you, there's an SEN in there, uh, not just the SEN. He has his lawyer. Every statement, we follow the provision of the law, street to census. Every single statement he has written, he sits by, his lawyer is there with him. The lawyer, as I speak to you, is seated with him. He's, he has a doctor and the doctor has attended to him even this morning. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.